Hey, Edson, Mayor Kevin Zahara here on the West End of Edson on this Thursday, July the 22nd with uh, Town of Edson Update. Actually, it's July the 23rd today. Uh, and I just want to uh, say continue those efforts, Edson, physically distancing, hand sanitization, not going outside if you're uh, not leaving the house if you're not feeling well. Uh, really important. We're seeing increasing cases of COVID-19 uh, throughout the province of Alberta, and we need to continue those efforts and ensure uh, that we stay safe as a community and as a province. Now, I'm here on the west end of Edson because this is the future home of the Phoenix Business Park and the future home of Edson Chrysler, a multi-million dollar development. Congratulations uh, to Cam Zanier, the staff at Edson Chrysler, his family, everybody involved in this project. It's gonna be fantastic. You're gonna see lots of construction over the next year uh, here at this location. Uh, really, it's been a lot of hard work, of course, by the developer, the town of Edson, been working very closely. And one of the reasons this is going ahead is because of something council has passed, which is the non-residential tax incentive bylaw. Uh, so what that does is that encourages development. Any uh, increase in assessment over 25% because of uh, development such as this, renovations, expansions, is eligible to be tax exempt for up to five years. 100% uh, for the first two years, the following year 75%, 50% uh, for uh, year number four and 25% for year number five. Uh, it's really a way to encourage development within our community, expansion within our community. Uh, it's a, a new program that we've introduced and uh, we are one of a few rural municipalities that have done this. Uh, we're only the, uh, as far as we're aware, the only rural municipality with a multi-year program. And all this is because of Bill 7 uh, that the uh, provincial government passed and the Alberta legislature passed uh, last year to incentivize business growth and development within our communities. Uh, so hopefully more businesses, more developers will take advantage of this. It's gonna be open to the entire community. So be sure to check it out. And uh, you can check out those details at edson.ca and uh, looking forward to seeing this uh, development moving forward. Uh, we've also, on Tuesday night, we uh, had a public hearing for a development on 63rd Street. Lots of commentary regarding that development. Uh, a lot of feedback, over 100 submissions. Uh, we had uh, over 20 people uh, dial in, 40 uh, people registered uh, for the public hearing. And ultimately, a little noisy out here, uh, ultimately council has denied the area structure plan and the rezoning, uh, largely due to the feedback we received from that neighborhood. Uh, so I just wanna thank everybody that was involved in that process and took the time to get involved and take ownership of their neighborhood and uh, their community. Really important that people uh, people do that. Uh, also wanna note that uh, construction of the new landfill cell is now complete. We'll have further details on that, uh, but the landfill will be reopening to regular loads. Uh, as you know, we had the fire there about a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, and uh, so we've had uh, reduced capacity at the landfill. Hours are not gonna change, but we're gonna be able to accept more waste. You're not gonna have to chuck things into those bins, which I know is really difficult when you have a truck load full of stuff uh, and we'll be able to uh, uh, accept some of that uh, dry waste at the landfill. Uh, I'll be open up to contractors and that sort of thing as well uh, which uh, which is certainly good news for our community. We'll have further details announced on that later this morning. Uh, also a reminder uh, we have Trans Mountain Pipeline activity uh, that has restarted here in the town of Edson. So exciting lots of work happening on the north end of town so just try to avoid those areas as much as possible. Uh, give crews uh, room to work. Make sure your kids are aware that they should stay away from those areas and not play in those areas as well. And welcome to all the pipeliners that are in town and everybody that's working on that project. Uh, also a reminder that we do have a four-way stop at 50th Street and 6th Avenue in effort to improve safety of that intersection. It is going to take a while for people to get used to those changes, uh, but uh, with the amount of pedestrian traffic, uh, traffic accidents, near misses at that intersection. We had to make some adjustments there in order to improve safety. Uh, and of course, we also have uh, uh, the new uh, stop sign uh, location uh, further down on 6th Avenue uh, in the area of uh, 43rd Street, um, as well as we have pedestrian crossings uh, that are going out throughout residential neighborhoods throughout the town of Edson to improve safety in our community. Edson, have a great weekend. We'll talk to you next week.